Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly. I'm so glad to have you guys here. Uh, today's video is actually going to be a two-part because it's so long. So my husband and I went to a antique shop out in Lancaster. Uh, I believe it's actually Adam's Town. I'll have to double check the address. But it's called Mad Hatter's, which is a perfect name for me because I absolutely love anything Alice in Wonderland. Um, now, not that the place is Alice in Wonderland themed. That's just the name of it. Um, but where you check out at the front of the store there where you buy your items, they do have a ton of Alice in Wonderland uh, decor like in that one room so it is really really cool um, but we went yesterday and I didn't get around to doing an intro or an outro so I figured I'll just do it here we're running errands today so I thought I'd quick do this now um, so yeah I hope you enjoy it and again it's gonna be a two-parter um, so stick around for the second part I just didn't want to overwhelm you guys or bore you guys I'm not sure which it might be so I figured I'll just go ahead and do the, the two-parter but anyway um, and also another reminder I said this in my video uh, yesterday my most pre previous video, the video right before this, um, my name is, my channel name is the same. I've just added on to it. Um, uh, it is Holly Lane Vintage Treasures. The reason being is because when I picked Holly Lane back in the day, year and a half ago, um, basically someone already owned the name or the domain and so YouTube had to tack on some numbers. So I'm hoping I picked a name that is just a name and doesn't have numbers tagged on because it was Holly Lane 47. So I'm hoping um, as long as it gets settled in, I'm not sure yet. I have it for like two weeks. I can change it if I want to. Um, so I have to just make sure that it'll it'll work. But it's Holly Lane Vintage Treasures. It's still me, still the exact same thing. Um, but I also feel like <clears throat> saying Vintage Treasures kind of gives more of, it kind of tells more what my channel is about. I feel like Holly Lane, Holly Lane is just kind of very generic. So I'm kind of hoping that this will also bring in more people, that people will see the name and be like, oh, vintage, okay, I, I can relate to that. I like anything vintage, I like treasures, I'm all about it. Um, so if you want to tell anyone about my channel, just let them know the name change, or if you know someone who has watched it, you're welcome to, to let them know. Um, but anyway, anyway, so I just want to let you guys know, I will go ahead and start the video. I hope you enjoy. Okay, this is when you first walk in, they have these amazing glass cases with really interesting items. That's one thing I love about this antique shop is that there are a lot of things that you just don't see elsewhere. Um, usually the Pyrex in this antique shop is really, really in good condition. It's really nice stuff. Um, they used to actually have a vendor who had nothing but Pyrex and it was like all the high-end stuff. So, <clears throat> but yeah, this, this case especially had a few nice pieces. I used to have that turquoise refrigerator dish set. Um, but I found I never used it. I really didn't use a little bit, but I didn't use them as much as I thought I would. This patio lanterns were so fun. Okay, this case, I always visit this case when I come to this antique shop because of the bake light jewelry. Now, they've sold a lot since I've been there, so their selection is a lot lower than it used to be. But, oh, I love this pin. Absolutely fell in love with that pin. I'm trying to get the price here for you. 85. Yeah, I don't feel like Bake Light has ever gone out of style. At least not to me anyway. I feel like it's always been always been lovely and beautiful and wearable. And I just had to include all these rhinestone pins. They're just so eye-catching. Do you see anything you like? Do let me know in the comments. What would you buy? There's a lot more to come, so save your money. <laughs> I love that pink ring. I just thought it was so pretty. I'm a sucker for pink. Take the price on that. It's kind of hard to get. Josh pointed this out to me. This thing is incredibly cool. That'd be such a neat art piece in your house. Actually, I don't think the price is too bad, especially if you're talking like art piece and vintage item. Do any of my viewers collect vintage cameras? Because later on I do show some more. So if you're into vintage cameras, I have a few more coming up here. I, this vendor had some really unique items. And this is an, another one. It looks like a typewriter, but it's not stenophile. Is that for like shorthand? I'm not sure what that is. I've never seen anything like that before. How cool is that? 
I love the, the keys. Okay, Josh is showing me this because Josh heard a guy talking about this game. Some guy passed us and was like, who would play this game? Like, who would want to play? Like, it's a little bit insensitive. Like, I'm surprised this game was even made. So I'm just including it because I can't believe someone actually came up with this idea and it got approved. It just seems a little, little insensitive, but okay. I'm not sure how old the game is, but just a little bit of a head scratcher there. Love these old phones. I love that brass one. We wanted 220 for it. Oh, and Josh was showing me this as well. There were some things that he found interesting, so I love including what he finds because he'll look at things I don't even notice. So he pointed this out to me. This just makes my heart so happy. Look at all the stuff in those, she those shelves. All the colors and the glass. Oh, love it. All the vintage kitchen decor and kitchen utensils and kitchenware. These canisters were cute. This vendor had tons of really nice glassware, tumblers. Oh gosh, you name it, they had it. Even this really cool slide glass. Look at the green and the white. Oh, I love the green. I actually feel like that price wasn't terrible for slide glass. Some of that stuff can go for hundreds. This mid-century lamp. A lot of these mid-century lamps, um, the reason only two are lit, I'm wondering if, I'm trying to get the price here for you guys, a lot of these mid-century lamps, you could actually choose how many bulbs you want lit. I used to have one, um, not quite like that one, but similar. It had three bulbs. And the little um, knob on the side, you could click if you want one, two, or all three of them lit. Which, I love that idea. You can kind of choose how bright you want the room. This frog was cute. I'm not into frogs, but I love the green glass and he's had a cute face. Does anybody collect any of this kind of glassware? Do you like the depression glass? Do you collect like Fenton? Do you collect the swung vases, those really tall ones? I like to know what people collect because we all have our own thing. Because sometimes I'll look at items, I'm like, but who would buy that? I don't I don't find it terribly interesting. But just because it doesn't catch my eye doesn't mean it doesn't catch somebody else's. I think it's fun and cool how we all have our own our own tastes and things. This fairy lamp caught my eye. Oh, I think it's probably Fenton. It's $195, $195, yeah. Not surprising, some of those can go for a pretty penny. Oh, I love his hands. The green one in the middle caught my eye. I actually own the small green one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Actually, the small green one I keep all my rings on. It's 49 for the one in the middle. I don't know if you could see that. Speaking of swung bases, oh my goodness, these are gorgeous. This really tall one, I'm trying to get the price here in just a moment. There we go, 900. Years ago, I saw a purple and white one, and they only went $95. This was years ago, probably the same size. Not all of them have exploded in value. Ever since the whole COVID thing, like I swear, for whatever reason, the swung bases have exploded in value. I love the blue and the green. I've kind of fallen into collecting blue and green glass, so I'm always get some prices here for you. See, like the the prices and values have gone way up. I 
I know a lot of people who collect vintage Christmas items and these blow molds is what I think they call them. I know a lot of people get really excited. I've seen a lot of people find them in the trash. Like people are throwing away the old Christmas blow molds. I think that's what they're called. Crazy, crazy. I actually saw a post the other day um, where this lady was broken hearted because she had a friend who had a Smith century home and it was throwing away a lot of stuff, like literally throwing away like old cast iron, like furniture and fences. Like, oh my goodness. She's like, please, please <laughs> don't throw anything else away until we have a chance to like let, let people go through it. Like you might actually have stuff of value. I love the clock with the moving ship. I don't know why it's so mesmerizing. I love that plate. I wish you would have gotten a price of that green uh, glass canister set. Did not think about that till later. Oh my goodness, all, oh, all the Christmas stuff. I love the vintage Christmas stuff. There was so much. I really didn't zoom in and get a whole lot of prices. I do apologize. I was more just trying to show what was on the shelf. But how cool. Oh, nostalgia, baby. Christmas nostalgia. Love it. The other day I was really in the mood for Christmas. Like I was suddenly like, right, I'm ready for looking for Christmas trees and snow and like it's June, Holly. You got a ways to go, sister. <laughs> And here are some of the um, vintage cameras I was talking about a second ago. Does anybody collect these? I know years ago, um, I had a lady near me who loved all these. And she collected the real cheap ones she would find at flea markets and stuff. Ones that didn't work. But she displayed them so nicely. I was half tempted to buy my buy myself some. But I'm so easily influenced. I'll get stuff and then I'm like, what am I going to do with this? These little walking sticks are really cool. 120. That one there with the wood or bone handle. Wood handle, bone handle, I think, is 475. I didn't know these uh, walking canes, walking sticks, could actually have that much value. It's not really something I collect or I'm into. But I just love the details on the different handles. Either carved wood, the brass, the bone, or ivory. I'm not sure. I think that's like a bone or, or um, antler or something. We have stone. We have... That one looks like it's silver. I have no idea. There are just so many. This, the, this was the tiniest little booth, but I love the wicker bust. I just, I thought it was so cool. Uh, someone on my local um, uh, Facebook marketplace has one um, a little bit more wicker than this. Um, a little more of a woven thing, and they went like over two hundred dollars. It's so so fun. Seventy five. That's probably pretty good for that. And Josh is with me, and this is something he, he was looking at a record and telling me about it. So I just was trying to get to feel the the booth, and just kind of getting some some close ups of some of the items on the shelves. I love those boxes with the flowers. I don't know anything about them. They, just caught my eye. Looks like the one is 20 bucks there. It does see as is though. The problem with a lot of those little portion flowers is that the uh, petals will, will chip. Okay, this booth I'm coming up to was so fantastic. It was so whimsical, so colorful, so fun. Like they had the, the most odd things in here, but I just loved it. I could have spent like all day in here. If you were ever in the Lancaster area, Adams Adamstown, you have to come to this area. This is, like I said, the Mad Hatter. Um, up the street, there's another place called Pine Hills. 
And if you go the other direction, there's a lot more antique shops. There's, I think, the Adamstown Antique Mall. I did a video on them a while back. Um, if you go farther down, I think the route is 272. And if you go down, there are, there's the Lancaster Antique Center. I know there's Mother Tucker's. There's um, 272 Antiques. There are a lot of antique shops. So if you want to go someplace and hit a lot of shops at once, highly recommend this area, especially this strip here on 272. This is the teapot. Can you believe that that's a teapot? I kind of like it. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I'm still in the booth. This is, this booth just keeps going. Like, I love their style. It's just so whimsical, so crazy, so out there. It's... That's fun. Creepy doll head. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. See, a little bit of everything toys decor books hat boxes oh my goodness i'm still in the same booth this is still in the same booth so cool and that's the other side of it where i walked in you kind of come out over here so just trying to give you a little bit of a layout of how it's like set up it's kind of cool the next couple of booths I'm going to go into are just mid-century modern on steroids. Just absolutely fantastic decor. Can't get enough of it. Like, I could live in this booth. Just, just bring me a coffee. I'm good. <laughs> do any of my viewers enjoy mid-century modern? Like, am I the only one? Or do some of you actually enjoy this as well? Like, would you collect anything in this booth? Like, what is something that pops out to you? Or is this just not your style? It's funny because I don't think, I don't know a lot of people personally who are into this decor. So I just, I adore the gravel art. You just don't see this stuff. I'm assuming they meant the original box. I did not check after I filmed this. I forgot about it because <laughs> I just kept going. Art. Oh my goodness. And the wood. Adored this clock and the tiles on it. Because I again, like I said earlier, I collect blue and green and it was by accident. Like over the years, I just that was those were the colors I was drawn to. But look at the tiles. Oh, they're so beautiful. Price, a little out of my price range. Uh, okay, a lot out of my price range, but and the lamp, the second in from the left with the zigzag yellow lucite, love it. I wanted to take that home so badly. I really don't need any more lamps. Josh very kindly held that tag for me because it was blowing in the wind. Um, $245, yeah. Actually not terrible for that. And it seems a little pricey for a lamp, but I don't think that's bad at all. I was trying to figure out what this was. They were bookends. They were really cool glass, like, arch bookends. They look more Art Deco to me than mid-century. But the two can totally coexist. Like, the, the styles together work so beautifully. Hey, Mom, I found your glasses. My mom was looking for some glasses, like, Florida glasses. And I feel like those glasses <laughs> would go. Probably not her color scheme, though. A little pricey. I think they were like over $100 for those. Yeah. Thanks guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned in the next couple days.